used to me is quite bright. <laughs> you are shocked. Why am I struggling to say we? Thank you very much. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing part 2 of asking my boyfriend questions that women have for men. And I've got some really interesting questions that I'll be asking you. The first question is, when dating, how much do you tell your friends? A lot of times we like share like screenshots, ask for advice, you know, what should we say? Between our close friends, yeah, we do send screenshots of like, I mean, if she's good looking, yeah. You know. Oh, I meant like conversations. Oh, even. of the conversation now. We yeah. Don't, no. Like guys don't. We don't know. So you don't. We wouldn't send like a screenshot of a conversation and ask like, oh, what do you think? I don't know, like some kind of advice. Oh, in that case, yeah. If it's something for not sure about something, or like sometimes when it could be a bit crazy, you know, you just you know send it it's like, yo. This chick is crazy. Check this shit out, you know. I mean, something like that. Okay. Why do men act different around their guy friends? And like, when you're at home, like you're like quite nice and affectionate, and maybe around your friends, you are just. No. When you say act different, what exactly do you mean by act different? Because we all act different in a certain way, uh, depending on who we're with. So you're fake. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay. If you think that you don't act different. Of course, I act different. We all act different. Okay. We then why? Do you, do you act the same way in, in front of your girls? Do you get all... But I'm asking you why. I don't know. It's something you can't you just can't explain. That's no, I don't think there. that's normal. You should... What do you mean it's not normal? It is normal, is it? Like I said, everybody, it doesn't matter who you are. Okay. We all act accordingly, depending on who we're with. Okay. Simple. Do you think that men in general are scared of marriage? Men are not really afraid of marriage. They're afraid of what's ahead. So the things that come with marriage. Yeah, the responsibilities, okay. of course. I mean, you're stopping one woman, giving you a headache for the rest of your life. And then, you know, you start to build a family. Now you're not just looking after yourself. You got responsibilities, you know, you got things you, you got Okay, in first. that sense, obviously, we are scared too. Exactly, so thing. you can't say, yeah, then you can't just okay. say. So it's not just friend. that you're scared of commitment? Like, no, it's not really, yeah. no. Okay. It's not, it's just, there's responsibilities that's involved, you know, you got to let go of your life and then start a new life with someone else and do you guys prefer more or less makeup less obviously to be honest i feel like women you guys do the whole makeup thing yourself for for yourself or for other women or to get men's attention we maybe we, yeah which we don't even give a shit about it depends like if you're decent looking if you're like all right a bit of makeup you know isn't gonna hurt it's kind of like show off your facial, whatever, however you guys do with the whole contour and whatever you guys do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of makeup, but then when you start going too far, your eyelash is like the size of my goddamn, I don't know. Oh, that's you, true. You got, so. you got like how many layers of makeup on your face, and then when a guy kisses you, they got makeup on their face on themselves, and you, you just end up looking like a dra. I don't know if I can say that word now. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. You end up looking like a drag queen, basically. That's what most women out here looks like these days. I'm sorry. A little makeup? Nice. Majority of guys prefer women with their sweats on, hair tied up, looking natural. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's nice to obviously get dressed up, look nice, put on your makeup. We appreciate that, you know, time and time. And I guess you want to, you don't want like to meet someone, let's, let's say you're going out on dates and she's wearing a lot of makeup and then you barely recognize her when she takes it off. That's why you gotta take him swimming on the first date. <laughs> well, not many women would uh, <laughs> want to do that. But um, yeah, no, just too much makeup is a no-go. How do you guys feel about periods? Mature men got no problem with it. Then you have the rest. That's it. Simple answer. Good answer. Obviously, it's a normal body function, you know. But it's, at the same time, it's still not pleasant for us to... Some, it's not the best... But it's not pleasant for us either. I know, but I'm just saying. You guys deal with it, we have to, you know, hear about it. Okay. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> we deal with it, you have to hear about it? Yes. Oh, I feel so That's sorry. worse. That's worse. <laughs> I mean, yeah, all well, the moodiness and everything that is hard to deal with, but... Yes. Do you mind if your girlfriend has a lot of guy friends? Yeah. I don't know. The yeah part is... Especially when they're very close. I mean, I'm a guy. I know guys' intention. A woman being very close with a guy, she gonna tell him everything. Oh, that's what you're worried about? Not even just that. Yeah, actually, yeah. And once there's a problem in the relationship, who is she going to? The guy. And then when once 
you know, break up or something or it doesn't work out, who's the first person that's gonna be in pound town? Yeah. <laughs> the guy okay. she said, don't worry about. Again, you can, yeah, genuinely, because I know I have friends that are girls, I know I have, and for some reason, some women don't get along with women. I don't know why. Your women just, I think, yo, guys, you guys are trouble. Yeah, some women actually find some confinement in from guys and at times, yeah, of course, some guys do genuinely want a friend uh, or it could be they want something in return as in Maybe she business. just gives good advice or something. Yeah, sure. No? <laughs> good advice. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Should women ask guys out or wait for the guy to ask them out? If you're into a guy, you ask the guy out. If the guy's into okay. a woman, you ask the so woman out. So if you're dating a girl, you, you've been just talking for a while and she asks you out, it's not going to seem like desperate to you or anything. If she's interested, she asks. It's just annoying when women think, oh, okay, the whole chivalry is dead. Yeah, then obviously. They... We, we have these things. You kind of want the guy to be a bit more, you know. Same time, women want to prove that they're also very masculine. And I gender. don't. How much do you guys care about how we dress? You don't even care because you don't even care much about how you dress, so you don't really oh, care. You said I don't care about how I dress. I just don't yeah. have time to. I'm a no. simple guy. That's yeah, it. Yeah, you don't care too much. So then I'm guessing you don't care too much about how I. Oh, dress with you, either. if you dress looking like a, I don't know, either a slut. Well, obviously I'm gonna say it. Can you guys forgive cheating? Because I think that obviously everyone's different, but I think women in general, a lot of times they do forgive. So can men too? Yeah, yeah, of course. If the guy is into, loves the woman and obviously he wants that relationship, yeah, yeah, of course. Do you think it's harder for men? No. I think it is. It's not. I think because of their ego and... No, it's not. Mm. It's taking too long to get ready annoying. Yes. Wow, that was quick! Do I take too long? Yes. Chucks, there are women who, who do their makeup and hair for three hours. I, I don't. Know. I can I, I can be ready with everything in an hour, so that's good. So I don't take too long. You just take you, you you take nothing. You just <laughs> you just get up the bed and you don't <laughs> take five minutes. So that's crazy. Change He's it. not right. I do not take too long. Okay, then you if can tell that to yourself. What are men insecure about? Men are insecure. It's just like women are insecure about many things. If you got an ugly face, there's no hiding that from a guy who can't put makeup on. Number one, I'm big, probably one of the biggest, grown bald. Do you know how hard it is for every guy, even the ones that are probably like uh, have gone through it and now they're for overcome it and their confidence in their look and their bald head? You don't know what it took for them to get there. So yeah, first is hair. Second is their height and a lot of women really oh. really make fun of men for this you know I like tall guys but I wouldn't make fun of a short guy okay, you don't have to make fun of them but okay. are you gonna are you gonna get one of them half more majority of women just literally bypass a man that is it short. doesn't have to be very tall clean. but you know, just taller than me so you, yeah but I'm, I'm short, short. Yeah, so being true. taller than me doesn't mean you are tall it just means you are with average height guys are insecure about what job they have, the occupation. Okay. If they haven't got a good one, like society or everybody that is making the six figure, of course they get a little bit insecure yeah. about it. I don't know. There's there's plenty of things. It's just a long list. Yeah, almost everything. Guys okay. are insecure a lot. So last question: What is falling in love like from a man's perspective? Because we know how it is. It's very nice. Yeah, it feels good. It feels great. You know, you get that butterflies, and you kind of you just know like that's the one. I mean, this is the best feeling I in the world. I think for women, like when we are in love, we almost like we cannot think clearly. We are like like all you can think of is that person. Like, is it the same for you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Was it hard to say that? I'm just I'm just picturing things in my head. Oh. Alright, next question. <laughs> There's no more questions. Alright, thanks very much guys for watching. Just like and subscribe, subscribe, share. I don't know what people do with these things. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you again for answering. It's my pleasure. Let us know if you want a part three. I know you do. Especially my best friend. Okay, bye. Please. Love you.